Hey guys, Wi-Fi Spy here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a YouTube thumbnail using Panzoid.com. So first you need to go to Panzoid.com and scroll down here to where it says Backgrounder 3. You want to click on Backgrounder 3 and it'll open up this really neat tool that'll let you make YouTube thumbnails. First you need to go to Basics, you need to hit Type, and you need to hit YouTube Thumbnail. Now this will give you this little blank box here. Now you need to set a background color. So say you want it to be uh, green in the background. There you go, now you've got a green background. Then you need to go to text plus images, and say you want it to have, say, your YouTube name right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go Wi-Fi Spy. Then you wanna go and choose the font you want. I'm gonna use the font that goes, that I use for all my thumbnails, wherever it is, one second. Punk's not dead, there it is. And it's kinda small, so I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Uh, 300 is what I use usually. So now you've got this little guy here, and I usually like to rotate it like this. Um, you can do whatever you want here, really, but um, I recommend rotating it and putting it up in the corner like this. I think it looks kind of neat. Um, make it a little bit bigger if you want and stuff. Now, here's a really neat part. You can go to color, and you can put, like, multiple little boxes here. So I can have, like, say I want it to be blue up here in this part. And then over here at the other end, I want it to be green. Actually, no, not green, because that's the background. How about orange? Yeah. So there you go. Now it, like, mixes them kind of a thing. And it looks really looks really neat. Um, so there you go. You've got this that you can just, like, put up in the corner to look cool. Um, next, you want to add an image. So you can go here. Um, I already have some images that I just got off of Google. You can just drag them to your desktop, put them in a folder or whatever. Um, and so you just hit select and go to wherever those images are stored. For me, they're on the desktop and in images. And uh, select whatever you want to put in. So I want to put in, like, say, this NBC logo right here. Boom, now I've got this. It's really giant. So you just want to turn down the scale, like 0.2 or 0.2 or whatever. That'll work. And now I've got this little thing that says NBC that I can put wherever I want. Um, let's, let's bring in a few more images here. So let's just click image, image. Bring, bring in a couple more things, like, say, Katniss, Minecraft Katniss here. We can make her a little bit bigger. We can like rotate her a bit and have her like shooting an arrow at something. Um, and then we can put in another image here. We can go and put in, say she's shooting, let's make her shoot an arrow at Steve. Yeah. So put Steve down here. She's up in the air, like shooting an arrow at Steve. And then you can put like, say, another text saying like, Minecraft Hunger Games Episode 5 or Episode 1 or whatever and uh, you can put that one out in whatever font you want I like adventure and put it down like at the bottom saying like Minecraft Hunger Games Episode 1 and there you go now you've got a thumbnail or whatever you can just make your thumbnails it's pretty simple when you're done you just hit download your background dot right here and it'll say finished you just click download It'll take a sec, and then it will download your background, and you can use it for YouTube videos. So, here we are. Let's open. And here's my background. Minecraft Hunger Games Episode 1. Katniss shooting Steve with an NBC logo and my Wi-Fi spy name. Uh, now you can just go to YouTube and put that under your video where you when it asks for a thumbnail. And yeah, it looks really cool. Um, uh, another cool thing you can do is if you want, if say you don't have to redo... Um, like, see how if I, if I remove everything except for the thing that says Wi-Fi Spy here. Say you don't want to have to redo doing this whole thing, making it green, making it say Wi-Fi Spy. Well, then you can just save a custom template here that you can download. So it downloads your template. And uh, once you've downloaded your template, you can just... So let's just refresh the page so it gets rid of what we've done. Now you can just load save template, and it'll go to wherever you downloaded it, and now boom. You can just load in your template right here, edit it all you want. So it's really cool. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to make YouTube thumbnails. Um, keep looking at my channel for new tutorials and stuff to come. Make sure to like and subscribe. Wi-Fi Spy out.